Hello and welcome to Kilda Water. The 2013 Salomon Kilda Marathon Weekend features a run, bike, run and a 10k race the day before the main marathon on Sunday. Let's meet a few of those taking part in the shorter events. Beautiful day, it's our first trail race, so can't wait to sample uh, the views and everything, we really look forward to it. This is my first run, bike, run, but I did the 10k last year. It's the first time I've been to Kilda to do a run, bike, run. Last year I came and I volunteered and uh, I decided that I really wanted to do something this year, so run, bike, run, and I'm really lucky that these guys said they would do it with me, so I'm hoping we might get a fast-ish. <laughs> Yeah. Time. <laughs> All right, so. We're running for Be Child Cancer Aware uh, for their Beads of Courage. We're running with some students from Northumberland College. Um, there's be about five or six of us running. And then we're volunteering and helping out in the marathon tomorrow as well, doing the water stops and stuff like that. Well, I'm a consultant in stroke medicine. I feel passionate about what I do. And it's just today's public awareness about stroke. I asked my mum if she's got any clothes she doesn't want to wear anymore. And then I, I just take them off her. Kielder Water is operated by Northumbrian Water and this weekend's activities are being supported by local organisations and a whole team of volunteers. We've got loads of volunteers involved and the, the event can't happen without them and they're doing everything from serving tea and cake through to, to handing out water and then the important thing of keeping people safe. Why is the 10k and the run bike run so important to Kielder Water? Well, they add something extra to the Kilda Marathon, so it makes a whole weekend of activities. And that's really important for the area, so we're bringing a lot of people to, to Kilda to enjoy it, to see it, to sample its delights, and to make sure they come back in the future. Let's check out the finalists for the 10K. 16-year-old George Rudman was the winner of the 10K race in 37 minutes and 54 seconds. Yeah, I mean, there were a few bits where I think I heard footsteps behind, so I had to speed up, and then about three quarters of the way around, like, I, I, I think I got a bit lost. I don't know what happened, but yeah, yeah I enjoyed it. There's a lot of runs out there where the route's quite, it's not as pretty as scenic um, and it just makes it that little bit harder to run whereas when it's like this and it's beautiful you've got things to, to look at and keep you interested, it definitely makes it more enjoyable. Next up it's the finalists in the Run Bike Run. The first place male individual was Martin Hallisey. He achieved two hours, four minutes and 53 seconds. And the first place female individual was Catherine Young, who achieved two hours, 35 minutes and 46 seconds. So I was kind of prepared for the hills, but I wasn't prepared for getting off my bike and having to run up the hills. Like that was that was the tough part. So it was it was really seen it though. It is like it's a gorgeous course and like I was trying to, when I was really tired, I was trying to just look around and appreciate the scenery of it. But. The run was tough, but the bike was a great course. Even though it was up and down, up and down, and it was still a it was good, good path, so it was a very good course. Coming across the dam, even though the wind was blowing, you get the good views. It's very, very enjoyable. Out of the four times we've done it, we've won it three times, so we're quite pleased with it. I think we've got a winning combination and we, um, you know, we can play to our strengths in these events and it suits as well, so it's good. It was uh, it was beautiful, but it was painful. Yes, <laughs> yeah. that is beautiful. That is a good. <laughs> it is beautiful. So, with the initial day's action finished, it's time to look forward to the Salomon Kielder Marathon, which takes place tomorrow.